Hello there, it is your friendly neighbourhood maths teacher back again to give you a quick maths lesson about inequalities. Now this is an algebra topic and if we said an equation is something that has an equals in, for example 3x plus 2 equals 5 or x plus 7 equals 11, an inequality is something that isn't necessarily equal. I'm going to show you what I mean in just a second. First I want to recap some symbols. So when we see these symbols, they're on a computer keyboard, they're on your phones, what do these symbols mean? This symbol here, if I put some numbers in there, what do we think that means? It means 4 is less than 7, okay? If I put numbers in the next one, 8, that symbol then 2, what does that symbol mean? Well, if this is less than, that's the opposite. 8 is greater than 2, okay? That's what those symbols mean. There's a few different ways that we can try and remember these symbols. If you read music, or if you're used to looking at sheet music, if you play an instrument and you see something like this, this is called a crescendo, and it means as you're playing, you're supposed to get louder. So this is the loud end, this is the quiet end, okay? The volume is increasing, it's getting bigger. Quieter here, louder here, okay? So it's going that way. Another thing that many of you may have seen in school is the crocodile method. Okay, so if we look at this again, four is less than seven, we can turn this symbol into a crocodile. Now the crocodile wants to eat the bigger number, so whichever one he is facing is the bigger number, okay? Seven is the one he's facing, he wants to eat the seven, so seven is bigger than four. Seven is greater than four, is what that tells us. I have one more way of remembering it, okay? This one I'm very proud of, I came up with this by myself. So when I see these symbols, I'm reminded of a meme of Will Smith on a red carpet with his wife. The photo is here, okay? And the question is, why is he pointing to her like that? He's pointing to her like that because she looks great and she is great. He is showing off his wife and he's saying she is great. So if we just focus on him and the shape he's making with his arms like this, it's another one of our symbols. And whatever he is pointing to is great. Okay, he's pointing to his wife because she is great. So whatever he's pointing to like that is great. So if you look at these symbols and think about Will Smith pointing at something, the big pointy hands point to the thing that's greater than the other thing. Okay, that side is greater, that side is bigger. So if we have a look at some more symbols then, these symbols are slightly different. What's changed about these? Well, they've got these lines underneath. They kind of look like our symbols from before, our less than and our greater than, have had a baby with an equal sign. And that is kind of what they mean as well. If I put some numbers in here, X, that symbol, and then seven. That means X is less than or equal to seven. So in other words, X could be one, two, three, four, five, six, or X could be seven. It could be equal to it, okay? But if I just said x is less than 7, it couldn't be equal to 7. It had to be less than. Next one, x, that symbol 2, this is going to be the opposite. x is greater than, bigger than, or equal to 2. So x could be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on and so forth. Okay? And that's what those symbols mean. The other thing we can do to show inequalities is draw them on a number line. And they might look like this. Okay, we've got this empty circle over 2 and an arrow going down pointing at all the numbers less than 2. So this is x is less than 2, okay? It's pointing at all the numbers less than 2, not including 2, because it's an empty circle. If I look at this one, empty circle on minus 1, going up, what might this be? Have a think. This is x is bigger than, greater than, minus 1, okay? Not equal to it, because the circle's empty. If I fill in the circle, this is where it's like I've clicked in it on an online website, okay? I've clicked in the circle, so I'm including that option, including that and everything lower than it. So x is less than or equal to zero, okay? If you look at the arrow, it's facing the same way as the arrow we have in our answer, okay? Same for the last one. So that arrow there is the same as that arrow. That arrow there is the same as that arrow. That might help you, okay? So this was x is less than or equal to zero because it's a filled in circle, so it could be equal. Next one. Have a go, see if you can work out what this one is. Okay, look at the way the arrow is facing. This is x greater than or equal to two. Okay, here's another weird one. Okay, we've got two different circles, two different arrows. This means x could be one of two things. It could be x is less than minus one or x is bigger than two, okay? So that's showing you x is less than minus one and x is bigger than two. Those are the two options there, okay? One more thing that we have to do with inequalities, we may be asked to solve them. And the good news is, this works just like it does with normal equations. If I give you this as an example, x plus 5 is less than 11. 
we're going to imagine this symbol isn't equals. And we're going to draw our line down the middle like we do, and then we want to get x by itself on one side. So what have I got to get rid of? Well, if I want to get x by itself, I've got to get rid of this plus 5. What's the opposite of adding 5? Take away 5 from both sides. Okay, take away 5 from both sides, we're left with x is less than 6. That's our answer. Let's look at a slightly more challenging one. You can pause this and have a go yourself if you want to. Here is the inequality. Okay, so we're imagining this is our equal symbol. We're going to draw a line down there, and then we want to get x by itself on the left-hand side. What am I going to move first? I want to get rid of this minus 5, so I'm going to add 5 to both sides. What will that give me? What's the next line? 3x, that symbol, and then 12. Okay, 3x is greater than 12. What do I have to do next? I want x, I don't want 3x. I have to divide by 3, because that's the opposite of timesing by 3. Okay, divide both sides by 3, I'm left with x is greater than 4. And that would be the answer to that question, okay? Feel free to watch back through this, that's a lot of information about inequalities. Have a practice, let me know if you have any questions, and thank you for watching this video.